This one is coming with me. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video I will show you what I have in my travel makeup bag. I will give you some tips how to not overpack and also I will show you some of my must-have products. I prefer smaller makeup bags instead of a big bulky one and these are easier to hide inside my clothes and also I'm not taking a lot of products with me because more space, more products. The products that I'm going to show you, I will take them with me to Cyprus for holidays. I used to overpack for many years and once we went to Paris and I had with me five kilos of makeup products. From that time I said, no, nope, this is too much. Let's take only what we're going to use. Let's start with the face products that I am going to have in my travel makeup bag. For foundation, I will take this one. This is the Can't Stop One Stop Foundation by NYX Cosmetics. I prefer squeezable tubes. This is in a glass jar. It is what it is. I am going to take this one. This is a little bit darker for me now. So I am also going to have with me the Makeup Drops by Essence in a lightening. And I'm going to mix them together and have the perfect perfect shade for me. For concealer I will take the Camouflage Matte Concealer by Essence. This is in the shade 30 Light Honey. I love this concealer. For primers I couldn't decide and I'm going to take three primers. That's a little bit too much. I want to see how the Catrice primer that I use all the time, how it works with this foundation in Cyprus. I also want to take this one here because I haven't tried it for a while now. I will also take the Photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. Most of the times I use the setting sprays that I have as primers or for my eyeshadows. It gives a very nice natural glow to the skin and I also want to see how this will work together. For power I will take the Fixing Powder by Art Deco Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite products. To contour my face, I will have the Contouring Palette by Wet n Wild in the shade Dulce de Leche. And with this one, I will have a matte highlighting shade and also a matte contouring shade that always blends fantastic on me. So I couldn't leave this behind. To highlight my face, I will have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. This is a light champagne highlighter that looks fantastic on my skin. It's not glittery, it is highly pigmented. It glides smoothly on my skin and it looks super natural and glowy. This also has a small mirror, it is so cute and mini. This one is coming with me. To apply my foundation and my concealer, I will take this sponge by Catrice Cosmetics this is from the limited edition Blair the Lines. This is an amazing sponge. I hope that they will not discontinue this one. Let's continue with the eye products. For mascaras, I will take these two here. And this is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Waterproof Mascara. I thought I wouldn't like it because the applicator is different. It has plastic spikes instead of bristles, but I can work with this applicator. Of course, I will have the Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It is ultra black. I love the applicator. I also like the volumizing effect that it gives on my lashes. For my brows I will have these two products and this is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color medium brown and also the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. I have them both on my brows today and I will give you my opinion about this after holding days. For eyeliner I will take the Catrice Liquid Liner in Dating Joe Black. I like this one because it is matte and very very ultra black. To have something for my waterline I will have this double-ended eye pencil by Tommy G Cosmetics. This one has a nude side and also a black side. I can have two pencils in one. For those days that I will want something more glittery for my eyes I will have these melted chrome eyeshadows. I will take the shade for still the look and also the shade ironic of course i will take some eyeshadow palettes with me i will take the slash palette by september rose cosmetics i have this palette for a while now but i didn't have the chance to play with these beautiful shades that we have and i want to create a lot of different makeup looks with color i have been trying so many neutral eyeshadow palettes that i want something different in my life so I will take this 
and I want to create a lot of looks. As we can see, we don't have any neutral eyeshadows in this palette. So I will also take with me the Eye and Face palette by BH Cosmetics. This is the dark side palette. If you want to see the review for this one, I will have a card here. In this palette, we have a mirror. We also get a blush, a highlighter, and a lot of neutral eyeshadows that I want to use with this palette here. I will have everything. Also, I'm not taking with me any blush because I will have this one. I will have the tiny highlighter by Becca because this one here is a little bit darker for me. These are the lip products that I am taking with me. I couldn't decide, so I will take everything. I'm kidding. Of course, I will take some liquid lipsticks and these are the Color Boost Matte About Matte. I will take the shades Dusty Romance, Partner in Crime and also I Love You, Me Neither. Specifically, I am very excited for this one here because I want to see what I will do with the slash palette in case that I want to transform my matte liquid lipsticks to glossy because I love glossy lips. I will have with me the lip oil. This is everything by NYX Cosmetics. This is like a clear lip gloss. I can also use it by itself. For lip glosses, I will have these two. The High Shine Gloss by Marc Jacobs in the shade Love Buzz. And also I will take the Butter Gloss by NYX Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Glazy Days. This is super glossy. I love it on my lips. I also want to have some lip options for a night look. Maybe I will do something with a red lipstick. I will take the Velvet Matte Lipstick by Essence in the shade Red Velvet Cake. I will also have with me the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner by Maybelline. This is in the shade 80 Red Escape and I'm going to use them together because a red lipstick always needs a lip liner. For a darker lip option, I will also have the NYX Liquid Sweat Cream Lipstick in the shade Starstruck. To remove my makeup, I will have the eye makeup remover by Maybelline and also the Nivea makeup wipes that this is empty. I will purchase a new one, don't worry, I will not take this one with me. For my body cream, I will take the Be Kind to Your Skin Body Cream by Rituals. This is paraben free and also it doesn't contain any mineral oils. For my skincare products, I will have the Clinique Smart SPF 15 Custom Repair Moisturizer and also the Turnaround Overnight Revitalizing Moisturizer. For my eyes, I will have the Clinique all about ice rich and this one reduces circles and puffs and you can see more skincare products that I am using every day in my skincare routine video. I will have a cut here if you want to watch that too. To save some space I always like to have with me some perfume samples and actually I want to buy also this one here in a full size. This is a Mademoiselle Coco Chanel. It smells amazing. Let's not forget the brushes. To set my foundation I will have these two. They are Morphe brushes from the Candy Apple brush set. This is a powder brush and this is for the eyes. For contouring, I will have the MAC brush 109. To apply my highlighter on my cheekbone, I will have the E40 brush by Sigma. I love this brush. Let's not forget my little helper, Santa's Little Helper by Essence. This is a highlighter brush so adorable. I will take this brush everywhere with me. I always like having more brushes for my eyes because I use a lot of different colors of eyeshadows. I will take three eyeshadow brushes by Essence, three eye blender brushes by Essence, two smudging brushes by Essence again. I will also take this pencil brush by Morphe and you can find it in the same set. In this brush set you also get this brush case that I am going to place all of my brushes inside. I will take the 51 brush by Kiko Cosmetics. I love this brush to cut my crease. I don't want to leave this behind if I want to be more creative with my eye looks. One angled crease brush and also one eyebrow brush by Essence. I will take one more pencil brush. This is E30 by Sigma and I also like to use this one for my outer corner. I always like having more angled brushes so I will have E65 by Sigma 
as well I will take with me some more blending brushes and I will take the 225 and 221 brushes by Zoeva these are very good I want to get some more of these brushes also I will have a spoolie because I always blend the products into my brows I think I have a lot of brushes in here and everything is safe in the brush case in the big one I place all the bigger items in the small one I have all the lipsticks eye products in the pink one I have all of my skincare to secure the makeup bags we can hide them inside the clothes and this way they will be safe we don't want anything to break this is how I divide my makeup products if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you have any packing tips and also if you do something different share this video with a friend that is over packing and is going to travel very soon if you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye